सेकेंड मेजर ऑफ स्प्रेड इज बैरियंस बैरियंस इज द एवरेज ऑफ स्क्वायर डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द मेन लेट्स वी हैव सम सिटीज पॉपुलेशन डेटा लेट्स वी हैव पॉपुलेशन डेटा ऑफ सम सिटीज लेट्स सिक्स मिलियन पॉपुलेशन वन सिटीज एट मिलियन पॉपुलेशन इन सेकेंड सिटी एंड टेन मिलियन पॉपुलेशन देन फोर मिलियन देन थ्री मिलियन देन नाइन मिलियन सो वी हैव सिक्स सिटीज फर्स्ट सिटी हैज सिक्स मिलियन सेकेंड सिटी हैज एट मिलियन एंड सो ऑन एंड सिक्स सिटी हैज नाइन मिलियन पॉपुलेशन सो वी वॉन्ट टू नो द बैरियंस सो वॉट इज द फॉर्मूला ऑफ बैरियंस वी डिनोट बाई यूजिंग दिस साइन एंड द फॉर्मूला इज आई स्कल टू वन टू एन एक्स आई माइनस म्यू होल स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाई एन वेयर म्यू इज योर मीन एंड एन इज योर द टोटल पॉपुलेशन टोटल पॉपुलेशन तो लेट्स इफ वी वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट द बैरियंस सो फॉर दैट फर्स्ट वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट द मीन वैल्यू सो म्यू वुड बी सिक्स प्लस एट प्लस टेन प्लस फोर प्लस थ्री प्लस नाइन डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्स सो दिस विल कम सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन अराउंड सो लेट्स कैलकुलेट द बैरियंस सो बैरियंस वुड बी एक्स आई विच मीन्स फर्स्ट वैल्यू सिक्स माइनस सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन होल स्क्वायर देन समीशन फ्रॉम आई आई इज कॉल टू वन टू एंड एन कॉल टू सिक्स आई इज कॉल टू वन टू सिक्स तो सेकेंड वन इज सेकेंड पॉइंट इज एट माइनस सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन होल स्क्वायर प्लस टेन माइनस सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन होल स्क्वायर प्लस फोर माइनस सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन होल स्क्वायर देन थ्री माइनस सिक्स सिक्स सेवन होल स्क्वायर प्लस नाइन माइनस सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन होल स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाय सिक्स सो दिस विल कम अराउंड सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव फाइव दिस इज द वेरियंस सो वेरियंस टेल्स अस हाउ ईच डेटा पॉइंट हैव वेरियंस विथ मीन so as here we can see that how each data point like 6 8 10 how each data points have a variance from this particular mean value or we can say that variance is the measurement of all data points or we can say that variance is the measurement of all the variance happens inside the data what is the use of variance in machine learning so in machine learning we use variance to check the trade off between bias and variance let this is the center okay this is the center and if we let these are the data points if i will ask you can you please tell me how much variance these data point have so you can say that there is a very less variance in the data points what if we talk about this there is a very there is high variance as compared to this data points it means this has a low variance and this has a high variance what what happened in machine learning our data point should be close to this particular center this is your center so our data point should be closer to your center it means this is highly biased this is highly biased from the center these data points are highly biased from the center but these data points are low biased these data points are low biased but have higher variance but have low biased so by using this b we check the so by using trade off between between variance and bias we can get underfitting and overfitting underfitting and overfitting in machine learning model so we will discuss in more details when we will discuss about the machine learning model what is the standard deviation 
स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन इज द स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ वेरियंस एज बी जस्ट डिस्कस इन द लास्ट एग्जाम्पल लेट्स गो बैक टू द प्रीवियस एग्जाम्पल फॉर द वेरियंस हेयर इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन सो स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन विल बी द स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ दिस वेरियंस वॉट वुड बी द स्क्वायर रूट लाइक सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव फाइव दैन दिस वुड बी इक्वल टू अराउंड टू पॉइंट फाइव फाइव समथिंग सो द स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन इज टू पॉइंट फाइव फाइव सो दिस सो हाउ फार इज योर डेटा फ्रॉम द मीन लेट्स if we describe like these examples like this let this is your mean 6.67 then 8 then 9 then 10 these are the points and here we have like you can say 6 then we have 4 then we have 3 so we can check how far is your data from the mean so this is mean so we can check how far these data points from the mean it means what is the standard deviation standard deviation is 2.55 it means 2.5 if we calculate 6.67 plus 2.55 then what would be the value around mm, 75 is 2 then 2 then this would be around this is 9.22 something so we can say that from this and this is from mean it means this value would be 2.55 2.55 so our data should lie in a range like 6.67 plus minus 2.55 because why we are using plus minus because as we had discussed so this is the negative and this is the positive and this is your mean so that's why i took 2.55 plus and minus so let's we have used the three standard deviation in the first standard deviation we use 68.7% it means under the first standard deviation about 68% 68.7% of data will come let's if this is the point 6.67 then we have in the earlier example we have like uh, 8 and 9 and 10 here we have 3 4 and 6 so let's if we take like uh, standard deviation 2.55 here we have 2.55 this is called as your first standard deviation if we talk about the second standard deviation that is this this is the second standard deviation if we talk about the third this will be your third standard deviation so in first standard deviation we have data around 68.7% In second standard deviation we have data around 95% of total data and in third standard deviation we have around 99.7% of total data so by using this standard deviation we can know how far is your data from the mean it means if we use the three standard deviation then we can we can include around 99.7% of total data so by using this particular th three standard deviation we can know how far 
from your data from the mean it means 99.7 percent of data can be measured like how this 99.7 percent of data is away or is far from your mean let's uh, we can describe the standard deviation in this way like this and uh, let this is the graph so we can say that this is your let's mean so we can say that uh, this is your first standard deviation this is your first standard deviation this is your second standard deviation Two ST, two ST, and and this is your like complete this picture like this and this. This is your third standard deviation. Ninety nine point seven percent of data comes under the third standard deviation i think in real world scenario we use like whenever we purchase the car we want to know what is the mileage of the car what is the mileage of the car we say that this is the 15 liter per kilometer but you can also check they also mention plus minus three kilometer it means it could be deviated like like it could be 18 or it could or it could be 12 it depends on the road and other condition that's why they mention the standard deviation this is the mean value your this is your mean value so from mean it could be deviated from three kilometer positive side and three kilometer negative side so it could be 18 or it could be 12 let some example for variance let there is a transport company where buses run from one city to second city so they want to know check the performance of the buses whether the time taken by the buses from city one to city two is consistent or not let's the first day bus took like 10 hour in the second day it took 11 hour in the third day it took 15 hour in the fourth day it took 12 hour in the fifth day it took you can say that 10.5 hours and in the sixth day it took eight hours and and tenth day it took around nine hours so we can see there is a high variance in the data set if we like calculate the variance so we will get that there is a high variance in the data set it means the time taken by the buses from city 1 to city 2 is not consistent so they need to find the root cause what is the reason behind that so these type of the problem we solve by using the variance